everybody, welcome back to Rambling Runoff. Yes, you are correct. If you happen to press play on this video, this is Rambling Runoff, a sports podcast. Coming back to you, not live, but pre-recorded on the interwebs. And yeah, I know we've been gone for a while. It's been uh, quite hectic, a little bit weird, but it is what it is. And of course, joining me today is my right-hand man, Mr. Danny Tan. Danny, say again, what's up to the people? We're back, baby! <laughs> back. No, yeah, yeah. Just come back on, anyone who's listening. No, I know, we, we took a, a small hiatus. Uh, long story short, the one thing I used to record took a shit on me. So, yeah. Um... It was fun times for a bit, but now we're back on track. We're here again. Are you excited, Danny? Hell yeah. So much stuff has happened since we last time. No, yeah, dude. Um, I mean, it's been, what, like almost four months now? Mm-hmm. Kind of a regular break. What are you thinking about? Kind of a regular summer-ish break? Yeah. Come back in the fall. Kind of happens every year. Yeah. I mean, not by choice sometimes, to be honest. I mean, mm-hmm. no one's got to know our, our business, but yeah, I mean, around the summertime, we do kind of kind of go away, but hey, we're here. I mean, I'll, 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 be, I'll be it, or I'll be it, I don't know what the phrase is, Um, we've come back a little bit quicker this time, mm-hmm. I feel like other times, like, yeah, it'd be like in the summer, and then like, we wouldn't come back until like late fall. Yeah, one of them was like a full year break. I mean, yeah, almost. I, Just about. Well, that was when I used to work at my old job. Yeah, yeah, that was when, yeah, I had no time for nothing. But, uh, me about it. but yeah, I mean, what you been up to? What do you want to update the people on your life um, from the past four months? Past four months. Damn. I mean, I feel like that's a perfect amount of time to not know what you've done, but to have still done so much in between, you know what I mean? Um... What have I done? I have worked a lot. Um, okay. Four months ago, I went to San Diego Zoo. Okay, there you go. Um, yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> um, I tried rock climbing for the first time. Okay, bet. Um, that was sick. All right. Um, I've been golfing in between. Yeah. Sounds so about right. Gone yeah. Gone to... What else you got? Um, bowling. What else you got? times bowling a couple times um, bowling oh. went to vegas for did we talk about that did we talk about me going to vegas lovers and friends no we didn't get to i believe i think it was around that time though right before we stopped recording and yeah you want to explain to the yeah. people really quick uh it's not sports related got scammed you did not get scammed no but i got scammed at lovers Mo- and well i got a refund mother oh okay, good thing you got your money. they did mother nature was not on yeah. your side i mean no it wasn't yeah, yeah. Lovers and Friends, um, if, you, if y'all don't know, it's a uh, R&B, 2000s R&B um, concert that goes on every once in a while. Not very consistent, but this is like the second time they've been canceled. Uh, the first time was canceled for dumb reasons, um, because artists wouldn't show up. But this time uh, was canceled because of high wind warning. Um, and I found out while I was gambling on a slot machine. Well, I was already in Vegas, so it was bad timing, but, um, yeah, uh, Love is a Friend scammed me. You did not get scams. <laughs> I did get scammed. Rambling run out. Uh, these are the opinions because, of Danny uh, Tan. Rambling Ralph is not associated with his opinions at the moment. Yeah, I, I got scammed out of booking a trip to Vegas and spending my money there, uh, because obviously, who wins in Vegas? You know, I didn't. Well, you kind of did. You got your money back, and technically, the money that you spent was probably lesser than what you would have spent at the festival. Um, unless you no, threw away. Unless, maybe I would have got a t-shirt. I know. That's what I'm saying. Like The t-shirt would have been like $50. I gambled way more than $50. Oh, my gosh. Please gamble responsibly. If you my have a problem, please go get was, that help. Yes. Um, in your associated state numbers. <laughs> you right um, but I think my gambling budget was two. 40 or 250 i forget oh, but well, if you are gonna bad. gamble yeah, have a strict budget pull the money out ahead of time do not touch an atm 
while you're there because they charge you like 10 bucks to pull out any amount of money at all. A huge rip off. Um, I can say from experience. You know? oh, um, but I anyway, you. that's where you got scammed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, yeah I didn't pull out money this time, but you know, stick to a strict gambling budget. And make sure you don't mix your gambling budget with your eating budget. You need a separate eating budget. But anyway, yeah. Um, rock climbing was fun. A lot of golf. Since then, what else have I done? I have uh, all went to San Diego Zoo, uh, the Safari Park in particular. Mm -hmm. That was really fun. Yeah. So many cool African animals. But anyway, Rob, what did you do? Oh, I went to a Dodger game. Sorry. Oh, there you That's go. It. You finally went to a, I a went sport. To a Dodger was not game. basketball or golf related. Yes. I'm proud of you. To a Dodger game. Finally, it was the Pittsburgh Pirates. And Shohei Otani was up for a grand slam, and they walked his ass. They did not want him to. Oh no! Of to course, hit for a possible grand slam. It's Shohei Otani, bro. Yeah. I could have told you that. Yeah, but um, mm -hmm. um, I thought that the next guy, um, Hernandez, Kike Hernandez. I think so. Yeah. Um, he had scored a single run. I was like, oh, maybe you know he can hit it. Damn, struck out. He swung for the fences, struck out. Unfortunately. Oh well. But um, it was cool. Dodgers won that game. Um, I think it ended up being 5 1. 4 1. All right, that's cool. Uh, 4, one. Four one. All right. Yeah, that was a fun thing. Rob, what have you been up to? Um, I mean, I got a new laptop, which is what we're using today now. That's why we're back, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Laptops are expensive. And uh, my setup is uh, to give you guys a behind the curtain, is not the craziest. I know that. Why do you guys think when we have one video podcast episode? Yeah. Because shit is expensive. Actually, now, with your laptop, we might be able to do another one. I mean. But I set a goal. I set uh, 100 monthly listeners before we hit another video. Podcast. Okay. But also, we have to get the right. Um, oh, no, actually, maybe I could do on OBS. Oh, shit, you're right. But anyways, we can talk about that later. I can do it on OBS as well. Oh, anyway, I'd yeah. have to. Re I mean, long story short, I have to record everything on OBS and have to like modify it and yada yada yada. But yeah, and then yeah, I mean, it could work. Yeah, you right, cool. Yeah. But uh, yeah. Um. Which been up to? I mean, nothing much. I mean, I just been going to work. Um. Let me see. What else did I do? Um. Which April? What was it? I did I mention it? Let me see. It was my girlfriend's birthday not so long ago. We went to Fogo the Chow. Um, I went to a concert in like late May in LA at BMO Stadium. Um, been watching a lot of soccer, of course. I went to a couple watch parties. That was cool for Team USA, which we'll get into that later. Um, nice. Let me see. I've been trying to figure out how to fix a lawnmower. That's been fun. Um, oh. hey, let me know. <laughs> if you know, help help your boy out. Um, let me see. I don't know. I feel like a lot has happened, but not really. Sorry, I speak in yeah. whims because that's how my grandma talks. It's like, you know how it is. You don't, like I, I said. Even my grandma, she talks yeah, like that. Like <laughs> that four months like if i every week when we check in i know exactly what i did last week the big things you know, two weeks you know maybe forget one thing or another yeah three to four weeks you know you forget the bigger the time span you know the big big events quote unquote just become smaller things smaller things and you need something really big and notable to mention to the other person yeah oh i went to four months is that kind of perfect fuck i went to uh joshua tree joshua tree nine yeah i went for a birthday party at a like a air like an airbnb that shit was nice it was yeah. just super windy hell yeah it was just super windy so we couldn't do our bonfire outside but it was cool though it was a nice nice place to stay we we're just there for the the day slash night well we did go to some rocks i don't know if you remember i posted like rocks yeah that's where i went <laughs> no caption okay. no description i'm gonna pretend like i remember no nothing just rocks yeah. um but i think i think yeah it's mostly it for me um 
I mean, I've been to the beach like two or three times this year, which has been fun. I went recently for nice. work, so that was cool. Hell yeah. It's the best. Warm work craze for the trip. Yeah. It was cool. Just out in the sun. Yeah, yeah. In the sand. The sand in the shade feels really nice, by the way. But yeah, I mean, that was That's you to mostly burn. it. But uh, Danny, we've been uh, talking for 10 minutes now. You mind doing? I think it's time to do the thing that we used to do a couple months ago. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's been so long, I almost forgot about it. <laughs> what are we gonna talk about today, Rob? All right, look. I I even forgot to do the intro. Fuck. Anyways, um, for today's topics, which uh, today's episode should not be that long, uh, as we are coming back, it's gonna be a little, a lot rough. Not a little bit, a lot rough. Um, gotta stretch our muscles again. Yeah, a little bit. Um, we're gonna be talking. The Olympics, which just concluded a co- a handful of days ago, and then the second topic we're gonna be going over the summer of soccer, which the summer is almost about to end. And speaking of summer, for our third warm up top, our third topic, the good old warm up section, which I'm still keeping around. Uh, favorite summer activities. So we're gonna go into that, and then just like a little something in the rundown, nothing too crazy. But uh, yeah, uh, Danny, are you ready to start? The sports rambling. Yes, sir. I bet. So our first topic, as I just mentioned, is we just had the Paris Olympics uh, conclude. Uh, yeah, this year or this iteration of the Summer Olympics were in Paris, France. Um, I mean, a lot of events, a lot of fun things to watch. Uh, it was very interesting considering their time zones, like almost the same as ours in the United States on the West Coast. So it was like nearly twenty four hour coverage of the Olympics, yeah. uh, like on our our local broadcast NBC uh, station channel four. Uh, it felt like the Olympics, Shout the out. not a sponsor, <laughs> not a sponsor, um, from like one no twelve a.m. one a.m. in the morning to like eleven a.m. twelve p.m. Yeah. It was just all Olympics, and like yeah. it was like crazy. And then and if you're good enough to wake up early, you can catch early and then you can catch a rerun of whatever you missed. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, because they would do uh, like prime time, which is like they're wannabe. Hey, it's live, but it's not. Um, no. And they would show you. It was really dumb. I'm really I mean, dumb. they've done it before, but I think what it was, they wouldn't air it. Like when we were like younger, like 2008, 2012. Like it'd be live if you had like. The NBC Sports app or something, or you have to pay for some some sort of subscription, which was not streaming at the time. Um, and it was probably not NBC. And then they would be prime time live, which they would show it to you when they were watching it as well in the studio, which is like what they kind of did, because that's how like everyone was like watching it back in the day well, when we were younger, of course, obviously. Yeah. Um. Yeah. But yeah, now we have streaming like. It's evolved so much. Like I remember the Tokyo Olympics, same thing. I was watching on like NBC's like streaming service, and this time it was yeah. much much easier. Yeah, it... Oh, we're gonna say Danny. Yes. No, I was gonna say, I was using the NBC Sports app as well, and it made watching the Olympics so much better because I could pick the event. Um, it was like kind of live, not really live, but it was like <clears throat> full live because I was watching it. You know, obviously in California daytime. Um, so, but I was watching the event. As it had happened, in accordance to what they were putting chronologically um, out, and it was pretty cool because if I didn't like what was being covered during the quote unquote the prime time, the prime channel, um, like the the main stream, then I can just jump to another sport and then watch that. Yeah, it was really cool. The only, the only place where they would get you in the pocket in your wallet would be like the big events, like swimming, basketball. Mm-hmm. So I think some soccer games you had to go on to Peacock and watch it there. Yeah. Which I'm like, boo, but most of it, yeah, if like I mean, unless you really wanted to, obviously you're gonna pay for it or you already had Peacock. But like yeah, if you were just a casual kinda like myself, like I mean, a casual Olympic person but nerdy sports I person well. like myself, like yeah, you wanna you wanna check out the judo, you wanna check out kayaking, um, you wanna check out mm-hmm. I don't know. Fencing. Yeah, the fencing. What else did I watch? Um, Breaking. Oh, this year. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm supporting it. Fuck you guys. I'll talk about. It. We'll talk about it a little bit. But yeah, I mean, like, yeah. 
But yeah, like I was trying to watch as many, a, a different shit as I could or whatever I, caught my interest. Like I watched a little bit of soccer when I could. Um, cause luckily they were in the morning, like lo- our local time. So mm-hmm. I would have to wake up like at eight, yeah. watch it at nine and watch get And by 11, 12 o'clock, 11 a.m., 12 p.m. I'm like, all right, cool. Now I could go on with my day. Cause the games are like an hour and a half long. So I'm like, all right, we're chilling. Or like I got to watch track and field, like various events. I didn't get to watch it. The one that I wanted to watch live. Cause I, you know, they're just kind of all like, Scattered everywhere, like shout out to Noah Lyles. Uh, won his gold medal. Noah Lyles in the one hundred. Unfortunate with the. COVID. I know that was crazy. He came out sprinting. He was doing a song and dance, and then he almost killed himself. Yep. Which is weird. Yeah. Which I would. I can't believe you raced. I'm pretty sure. I, who knows? But, who knows? Know. I mean, remember. Well, not to be too specific, but that illness does evolve. So, yeah, as I'm I was sure. right. told not too long ago, so. Who knows? We're not sure. We weren't there, but uh, hey, at least he has his gold. He has a gold medal in the Olympics, so he can give the middle finger to gold medal and a bronze medal. With COVID and asthma, this man oh, he came in third. Bronzed. Oh shit! I didn't even know that. Yeah, he came in third. Nice. Um, yeah, that's cool. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm trying to think. Uh, I know. I'm pretty sure you saw basketball, Danny. Oh yep. And uh, what can you tell us about uh, basketball? I know a uh, team USA finished with the gold. They defeated uh, France yes, in the sir. final, correct? Mm-hmm. And then yep. uh, Serbia yeah, Team USA, took third place yep. with the bronze. Serbia ended up with the yeah the bronze medal um, after their bronze medal match against Germany. But yeah, USA kind of cruised themselves over to uh, um, the semifinals um, where they faced Serbia. I was about to say they almost lost. Basically. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They almost but shit the up bed. Up until they faced Serbia. Yeah. Um, they were kind of cruising. Um, France did unexpectedly bad in the exhibition games, but then during the group play, um, they came back to it by benching Rudy Gobert. I mean, there's a a quick answer to that, um, and they found it. But yeah, that Serbia US game um, to make it into the gold medal match was incredible. Uh, USA was down by 17 points, I believe, at one point. Um, down basically the whole game Steph Curry had um, I think at one point he had like 20 of the 26 or 27 points um, early on he was their only offense to get going uh, and yeah I mean you know some little bit of controversy uh, where Steve Curry didn't play just Tatum, but as the Chris fans we don't give a fuck anyway um, but yeah I mean Nikola Jokic and that Serbia team having as much shooting as they do Nearly brought the U.S. to their knees. Oh, well, they did. They brought them to their knees, and they, LeBron James, Kevin Durant, uh, Joel Embiid for a seven-point stretch. Uh, Steph Curry, obviously. Yeah, they dragged that team across the finish line to get to the gold medal match, and it was a sight to behold. I was at work, sitting down, watching it discreetly, you know, because I'm obviously working, not supposed to be watching it. Um, but I was listening to it, um, and then when something crazy would happen, or I would hear a shot um, go up, I'd flip it up just to see it, and then flip it back down. But anyway, yeah, Steph Curry, Joel Embiid, Kevin Durant, LeBron at the end of that, they really willed this team across the finish line. And then France put up a decent fight in gold medal, in the gold medal uh, match, but I mean, they it was a much easier game for, for the U.S. than... Serbia was because Nikola Jokic you double him he passes and if that second person shoots the ball and makes it what the hell are you supposed to do run another double and then they pass it back to Jokic and Jokic d- runs to the rim because he's caught you on a mismatch like what do you do um, I think that was the, the kind of the crux of why uh, Serbia was giving the U.S. so much trouble but not the same with France France I think was Missing a good guard, um, a good second guy to run back and forth with. Wimby almost pulled them across, but uh, fell a little short. He's still young. I saw him crying, getting a little emotional because it is a unique experience to win gold um, at home, you know, in your home country. He's not short. Uh, He's tall. Will happen. Relax. (laughs) (laughs) 
Um, but the USA will have another chance to do it in 2028 when they come to LA. <clears throat> They'll have a chance to win gold in the home country. Um, not done since 1994, I believe. Right? Or is it 96? 94. Um, yes, 1994 when it was won in Atlanta, Georgia. Um, but who, uh, who's going to be playing in this next match? LeBron James, likely not in there. Who knows? He's a freak in nature. Steph Curry, likely not to be there. Kevin Durant, likely not to be there. Drew Holiday. You know, all these guys, um, you know, the guys who pulled us across for the shine, likely will not be in the next Olympic team. So who is going to put us there? Bro, any thoughts? Um, thoughts on the games in general? Not to answer just that question. I mean, yeah, I, I, when I saw that they were down 17, I'm like, oh, here we go. What are we going to do now? Ain't no one going to bail them out, and then somehow mm -hmm. they did it. Because, I mean, I don't think they're all that. I mean, I don't think this team's soup. I mean, obviously our team is souped up, but I mean, like, the game has changed so much. So I'm like, all right, they're going to have decent opposition, right? Which they did. They ran to a really good Serbia team. And yep. you said, yeah, it was. A and the international play is so good. Now. Yeah, it's, like, totally Sorry, different. Continue. I mean, like, no, it's all good. It's kind of like how people are saying, yeah, the NBA is the world champs. Like, this is where that argument gets its leg a little bit. It stands up on its own. Because, mm -hmm. yeah, the 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 world, the, the international players are really good. But it, Really tough. Yeah, that's uh, my two cents there. Yeah. But, uh, Danny, what other, what, yeah, I mean, what were you going to say? Sorry, no. no I, I was, I was, gonna, I was, gonna, I was gonna, gonna change the subject. Literally gonna transition as well. Oh, okay, bet. I was gonna, I was gonna say, um, to the other event. whether events were you able to watch by any chance, like something like people wouldn't expect. I watched, uh, I watched women's soccer. I mean, well, that's like the most popular event other than basketball in the U.S. I think, um, other than track and field and swimming. But I watched, yeah, women's soccer, track and field. I watched fencing. Um, I watched swimming. Um, I watched a little bit of volleyball. I did not watch BMX. I watched a little bit of gymnastics. I did not watch Breaking Live, but um, I saw clips after. I watched U.S. Men's Golf. Um, and what else did I watch? A little bit of ping pong, or table tennis, I should say. Um, and I think that was really and it. You watched That's badminton. An, oh, and a, just a clip of surfing. Sorry, did you watch badminton? Uh, no, I did not. I did not watch. Badminton. Oh, okay, no, that's all good. Um, I watched like live. I watched a little bit of judo, some handball. Um. Oh, I was just. Handball I tried watching too. fencing, but the thing was taking forever, and I was like, I'm not gonna wait. <laughs> um. Yeah, that uh, that Japanese guy won gold in the, the individual. Oh, okay. Which is so cool. Um, the venues were... Oh, well, I'll talk about that after. Um, let me see. I watched a, like a tidbit of vo beach volleyball. I watched... I somehow found myself watching horse galloping or whatever the fuck it was. Oh, the equestrian events? Yeah, equestrian. Um, I watched some rowing. I watched like a little bit of everything. Like a couple minutes. Like if I was like, all right. It, oh, yeah. I mean, you know, is I, shit happening here or are we dicking around? Um, yeah, I did watch a little bit of the rowing. As well. I... Let me see. What's, yeah, I watched some of the soccer. I, wa I was able to watch the the women's final. Um, I mean they they faced a really uh, at one zero a decent Brazil team. Uh, the the world's best women's player on the Brazil team never won a gold medal because every time they would make it to the final, they would lose to the U.S., which is an, an insane uh, stat. USA, USA. Um, let me see. Yeah, I watched the BMX racing live. I didn't watch the finals, but I watched like the qualifier rounds, so that was cool. Uh, me and my grandma watched it. My mom was watching gymnastics. She's really into that. Um, and yeah, I was able to watch the the men's break dancing or breaking. Uh, I didn't get to watch the women's breaking because yeah. I I didn't wake up early enough. Um, but I did watch the highlights. I thought it was cool. I know people were saying it's not a sport. Ah, whatever. Um, I can see why. I can understand. But I mean, also you can say that literally yeah, about the one clip Ray Gun going viral. I know is she does it. Kind of the she only reason people are saying her performance. I would, I'm gonna say it was not the best. It was not good at all. She scored zeros across the board. <laughs> uh, but she don't deserve all that. Come on, guys. All right, it's over. It's over. No, it's over. I mean, 
Yeah. Like, I get it. You know, it's, it's funny to roast and stuff. You know, she didn't deserve, like, a crazy amount of whatever. It's but... been, like, two weeks. Yeah. Chill out already. I don't know anyone still giving her some shit for that. I mean, you literally go on are, any comment section, yeah, and you'll find it. But, yeah, Sherry came it's out. True. She's like, I <laughs> she's like, I know how to break dance. I just, she, I, I don't know why she decided to do this. This is where I think she went wrong. Uh, apparently, allegedly, in her, well, not allegedly, she said she, she was trying to do original moves. So I think yeah, but the you know original moves with the theme of still break dancing, showing your athleticism, you know, a little bit of tradition in there still. Yeah, because there's clips of her doing like regular shit. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. why didn't you just do that? I'm like, bruh. But now it was cool. Like, this I don't know because. What were you gonna say? No, I I was just gonna say because once you get to that level. The scoring rubric is much more defined. Mm-hmm. You know, it's not like an at-home talent show where they're given a lot more points for originality. You know, it's athleticism, it's execution. So it kind of really counts if you're performing a move that the judges can identify and see that you're executing well. Yeah. You know, it just doesn't make sense to me. No, yeah, because um, to my understanding, the rules were like, yeah, it's what moves you were doing, how many times, like, if you were repeating moves, they weren't going to give you the points for it. Um, and like, were you dancing? Well, yeah, dancing to the music, like not just breaking, but also you know, like, like there was like the upper body, which yeah, yeah, not yeah. like well, which basically the upper body you could count as like hyping up the crowd, you know, you know, getting your two step in, and then then you start the the breaking portion of your performance. Um, which was somewhat confusing because there was one girl from the U.S. logistics; she was really good. But uh, I can see why, like, someone in the comments identified because she was, like, on fire. Well, in my opinion, from a novice, yeah. from a, a, a yeah, from a, a, someone not knowledgeable of the sport or of, of breaking. Like, she came out swinging, and then someone's like, yeah, the reason why I didn't give her all the points was because she did, like, a backflip, and then she did, like, two moves, and then she, like, slowed down and started doing, like, traditional stuff, which I understand now. Okay, that's probably why they... They docked her points because she came out swinging, and then like she didn't keep that. Um, how would you say like consistency? Does that make any sense? Yeah, I, I see what you're saying. Yeah, she literally did like a standing moon salt, and I'm like, what the fuck? And yeah, she was going at it. I was like, damn, this girl's good. And then yeah, the men's was crazy too. Uh, th- a dude from Canada won. His name was um Phil Wit. Oh, and they all had their their b. Most of them had their b boy names. And their uh, B girl name. So yeah, that girl her name was Logistics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw that. It was really and cool. the dude from Canada, yeah. Phil Wizard, went up against so France's own Danny Dan in the final. Not related to Danny Tan. Yeah. Hey, hey, you don't know. <laughs> hey, my cousin's 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 cousin. I right, bet. <laughs> but yeah, it was cool. <laughs> he, I, I, but if anything, yeah, the the one guy, the dude that won for Wizard, he he was having the most fun out there. The guy from France. Danny Dan, he was great. Um, I mean, I thought he was going to win it, but what it, what it really was, what it came down to, and this is, I think, where the the breaking purists would probably agree, and this is going to sound corny because people always say this, the person having the most fun is going to be the winner. And yeah, the, the Phil yeah, Wizard dude, kinda. just like, he was just doing all the goofy shit too. I was like, bro. But you could tell when, when they was the guys, like, I mean, they're... They're guys. They're gonna be doing like some other shit, you know. Like they're gonna be on on yeah. some good bullshit. Like there was one dude. Oh, I think it was from Norway. Hey, don't say good. There was one dude from Norway. Um, the dude who was going up against, I think, it was it the dude from Japan? <laughs> the dude from Japan was about to hop in to like start doing his round, and the dude from Nor- from um oh the Netherlands, excuse me, he's from the Netherlands. Like paused him. And he's like, wait, wait, wait. wait. And he took his beanie off and he tried to just do a head spin on his beanie. <laughs> and he missed, but it was still Bro. it was still hilarious, dude, because he actually tried that shit. <laughs> That's so funny. I was like, "Bro, I'm like, this I know these guys like they're just having a good time out there." That shit was funny though. Yeah. It, yeah. I mean, it was a really fun event to watch. Um, you know, I didn't watch it live, but watching the clips and stuff. Things that they do insane. No, I can never. Say a piece of athleticism. No, yeah. It's pretty cool. I mean, too bad it's not going to come to the LA Olympics, um, which doesn't make any mm-hmm. sense either, considering uh, you literally can go to, like, any 
popular area anywhere. <laughs> uh, I.e. Yeah. Uh, Do you, Venice. You could, yeah. Venice. I mean, you could even shut down a small section of the street and do it. You know yeah, I mean? like it, it's not like it's a it's I'm pretty sure it's a popular street performance act to do. So that's I'm like, what, really? Like, why don't you guys just bring that here, too? But I'm pretty sure it'd be too many events because I think Paris just wanted to. Yeah, I think they wanted to do. I think the reason why they had it is because they wanted to just have something unique, which is kind of like unique. Yeah, and like because they didn't have baseball. And what was the other one? A softball. Um, they, I forget. They have another. Yeah, softball. Yeah. I think there was they wanted to one more, but I can't remember off the top of my head, unfortunately. But yeah, they didn't have those I forget, man. events. I mean, they had surfing, which I got to watch a little bit. That was cool. Yeah, surfing was really cool. So damn dangerous watching those waves, though. Yeah. Especially with, with like, the guys, they were going for bigger waves. Yeah, yeah. I, but to watch how much personnel they had out there, um, because the beach shallowed so quickly, like the sand or whatever the seafloor yeah no the, um, yeah it's, it's the, you, you it's, literally it's got the to the actual floor. beach so fast it's the seafloor yeah like literally yeah it, it you know you, you're on top of a 15 foot wave and then it crashes and you have like 10 feet before you start washing up onto the beach it's, it's insane and the wave is still so strong yeah oh man they're just brave for being out there no yeah it was dope though um yeah it was really cool but yeah i mean dan you have anything else to add in regards to the olympics um, what were the great thing notable things I watched? Oh, you know I watched uh, the the women's weightlifting. Um, I watched uh, what was her name? Kelly. I don't know. I don't remember. Come on, gold. Ah, frick. Okay. Well, I've already forgotten. My bad. That's all good. Anyway, um, other than that, USA, USA. Let's talk about the medal count. Oh yeah, real quick. I almost forgot about that. USA. Okay, before we go, yeah, and uh, wins the medal count with a total of. I'm gonna take this, oh, Robert. All right, all right, it's mine. All right. USA takes a total medal count with 126. Um, they tied China with uh, total golds, um, tying at 40. Um, China having a total medal count of 91. Uh, following them is Japan with a total of 45 medals, um, 20 gold for Japan. And Australia follows them with 18 gold medals and 53 total medals. And then finally, the home country, France had a total of 64 medals, but only 16 gold, putting them right below Australia. But an interesting fact, Australia, actually, I think it was New, Australia and New Zealand, um, has the most gold medal athletes per capita of any country. Did you know that, Rob? I did not know that. Of the 2024 Paris Olympics, yeah. So I forget if they used like 100,000 people or whatever. Um, I forget what the metric was, but yeah, per population, per capita, Australia is number one. I think U.S. falls in like third or fourth, and then China is like way at like fucking like twenty because there are so many people in the country. Yeah, yeah, makes sense. Yeah, but anyway, fun fact: there are your medal counts. All right, USA, USA, USA. All right. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. real quick. That was funny. Um, <laughs> fucking Danny. Uh, I did. I, there was also skateboarding. Shout out, Nigel won the. I think won the bronze. Oh yeah, dude. Dude. All right, Hudo Yuragomi. That was insane. That's all I gotta say. I'll keep. It, I'll leave it at that. Man. Yeah. All right, keep it rolling. Got to keep it. No, rolling. yeah. Unfortunately, we do gotta keep it. Keep the the metal rolling here. Kick and push, baby. But kick and push. Kick, push, kick, push. Kick, Y'all don't even know about that one. All right, let's go, bro. Let's go. Um, next up we have summer of soccer. Uh, there was a lot of soccer be- played this past. Currently, past whatever. If you're in school already, your summer's over. But we're adults, so our summer's still going a little bit. <laughs> Don't um, remind them. But yeah, there was a lot of soccer that was played uh, this past couple months. We had Copa America. I mean, obviously, we just had the Olympics come by. We had Leagues Cup. We had the MLS season going. We had Premier League um, preseason as well. Um, but yeah, I'm going to start up with... Uh, Copa America, uh, which we just, which the U, which the United States just hosted as well. Um, that had Argentina defeating Colombia, Colombia, one zero in additional extra time. Uh, they were vic- victorious by one to nil. Uh, Martinez scored in the hundred and twelfth minute 
of uh, extra time. Uh, but that was the only talking point of the match. Um, the game was uh, partially postponed due to uh, I don't know, I don't know what the proper term or v- vocabulary would be, um, but it was postponed due to uh, I don't know what would you call it uh, overcrowding, Danny. Was that the correct term? Oh, okay. Overcrowding, stampede. Um, I guess so. Uh, yeah. Or oh, yeah, because it's not a crowd crush yet. Yeah. Um. Oh, stadium breach. I guess that would be like the professional term. Oh. Yeah, it was not pretty. <laughs> it was not pretty, and it was goofy at the same time. Which, but people are gonna see the not pretty part first. Um. Yeah, they had people clamoring to get into the stadium. Uh, and people were rushing into the stadium without a ticket, by the way, and then just running havoc at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami. And like, yeah, there was one video I watched, um, where there was like a family, and I guess they had like three kids, like two, probably seven, maybe a five year old, or excuse me, yeah, two kids, seven, maybe a five year old, and maybe like a nine or a ten year old with them. And I guess like they weren't like gonna get crushed but you can see the crowd was pushing and luckily they had a a gate that was just a flimsy gate next to them because yeah um luckily a police officer like grabbed the two kids over the that little gate and literally right after he grabbed them the the whole thing fell over like the people fell and then oh my gosh this is where it just it just becomes a nightmare and it's ironically comical um so i was i'm some colombian fans and i guess like there are argentinian friends were in their group you're about to get crushed, and the gate falls down. They fall down, and then the dude, there's like a taller dude, uh, in a I think I got a New York Red Bulls, Red Bulls New York jersey, which is slightly yellow, which I th- I see why he wore it. He falls down, and you see it w- with like his backpack. Can you guess what was in his backpack, Danny? Um, I bet you. I bet jerseys. Signed jerseys. No. His and it wasn't just a, <laughs> it was not a normal backpack. It was a little, one of those backpacks where you put your little dog inside. Yeah. Can, can you oh. see where this is going? Okay. And it was not zi- his dog. It was not there? zipped up, so he put his bag down to help his family, and you just see this little dog scurry away into the crowd of people rushing. <laughs> I was like, "Oh shit!" Yeah. And then the remember I said they had like a ten year old, a twelve year old girl with them, and she like ran into the crowd, and this is where I started having a panic attack because the little girl runs in there. And I don't know, I guess, I don't know, I guess, I, I, I don't know what I would have done in this situation, but I guess this lady who was with that child saw her run, and, you know, she runs, the girl, little girl runs to the crowd to chase the dog, and, like, the woman, I guess, I don't know, if, oh, she looked like a woman. She was se- uh, severely older than that child. She was somewhat short. Mm-hmm. Dis- she starts freaking out, like, she's like, like oh, fuck, I mean, she was like holding her chest, like oh my gosh, like like bro, like go get her, like what are you doing? But she was like crying. I think she's having a panic yeah. attack, basically, on what just happened. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah They yeah. fell she, over. Yeah. The girl runs, chasing the dog, and luckily the girl, the little girl, runs back, and she's like, I think she's like tearing up because she couldn't get, she couldn't find the dog. And but then at the end of the video, you mm-hmm. can see the, I guess a cameraman or somebody picked up the dog, and the, the video just ends. Oh nice. Yeah, but I was like, what, like. If you watch the video, I know when I talk sometimes it don't make sense, but I'm pretty sure if you watch the video, it still won't make any sense because it was just havoc and carnage all around. Yeah, like it was funny. I wasn't even gonna watch the final because I was just like, oh, I'm a little bit busy. It starts at five something. I just I just watch the highlights, and then my girlfriend was like, hey, are you gonna watch the game? I was like, no, it's okay. She's like, when is, when did it start? I'm like, oh, it already started, and she's like, what do you mean? I'm like, she's like. I mean, Ooh. you want to just let you check it out real quick? So I like tried popping it up on my phone, and I was like, "Wait, wait, six thirty? I was like, "The fuck!" And then yeah, I looked at the the news headlines, and yeah, the yeah, it was it was not interesting. But if you look it up, there's photos around Danny. <laughs> um, people were trying to sneak in through air vents. Yeah, someone brought I, I saw someone some brought those. a ladder, and they were climbing over. I guess like yeah. ticket booths that were yeah. not in service. People were like grabbing each other to like. Get up into the stadium. I saw that. Okay, well, I mean, they weren't zombies, Danny. What the fuck? <laughs> okay. No, no, no. But you know what I mean. Like people up there, like people started climbing, and then they were like helping each other yeah, up yeah, into. Yeah, yeah. 
You see clips like that? There I was one clips. clip. I guess they were trying to jump over. Like they were climbing onto like a like a generator, like a permanent generator of some sort, like in the ground. They were getting over, but like they were like so desperate, they were like jumping over, and then like a police officer came by, and then they started scurrying back over. I was like, bruh. <laughs> now some people that I spoke to, they were like, a couple friends of mine, they're like, yeah, they probably needed like horses, like police mm. on horses. You know what I'm saying? To like, yeah, yeah. How would yeah. you say um discourage people? Cause you kind of patrol. Yeah, like what are you gonna do? Like the if you start doing that, the horse is gonna f- stomp the shit out of you. You know? Yeah. It's like yeah, yeah. You get what I'm saying? Like yeah, they're like they're not gonna do shit. Like if the horse, like if they have horses or heavy patrol um but allegedly hard rock the host at the stadium were like we had every possible thing blah 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 you know it's just i mean yeah it kind of makes sense like you're a security guard or a ticket ticket teller at the gate there's i don't know five thousand people outside your gate and there's only what like yeah 50 of you guys there what are you gonna do and that's including other ticket tellers, other security, sheriff, police, whoever, you know? Yeah. And yeah, it was a shit show. But, I mean, the game was okay. Um, The game itself was all right. I mean, it went 0-0 into halftime, 0-0 into full time. They went to o- uh, overtime, quintessentially. And uh, the other headline was uh, Messi went down with an injury. Um, He took an, Dude, I saw. He took an awkward step, and then he got oh clipped. My God. Or I think, I believe so off the top of my head. Yeah. Uh, rolled his ankle. He just kept playing, and then yeah, I think after halftime, um, yeah, it just kept getting worse, and they had to sub him off. And he was in tears. I'm like, bro, don't cry. They're gonna make a meme of you now. <laughs> they did. They did yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like at work, one of my coworkers, yeah. um, he's Argentinian, and they um, someone just printed out a bunch of pictures of Messi crying. And they uh, they put it on his desk for his birthday. <laughs> That's so funny. That is funny. Yeah, I mean. I, I get where he's coming from, you know, like it's pretty sad. You know, his last he, time playing, this is probably the last one, turn, yeah, tournament. Exactly. yeah. And you know, in the yeah, final, and he re- like unfortunately, yeah, in the finals. But they, oh, well, I'll let you finish. I'll let you finish. Oh no, I mean, you took the words out of my mouth. Jumping the gun, yeah. They did say no, still in the winning. No, yeah, and then it was it wasn't just his, it was his Di Maria's, and I think, I think somebody else, I don't remember, but yeah, the the three of them got to a. Uh, hoist the Copa America trophy. But, uh, yeah, I mean, if you looked at that crowd, it was a a pro-Colombian crowd. Like, there were so many Colombians. Like, not to be, like, to keep it a book, and all those videos, like, it was pure yellow. Like, nine, I saw 95% yellow jerseys rushing into that stadium. And it was all yellow. (laughs) And what was worse about that, too, was that there was people outside the stadium who had tickets who couldn't get in. Dude, it's so crazy. Allegedly, I heard they were legit, like, it wasn't just, like, you got in and you were fine. Like, I think once you got to, like, your seat, or not even to your seat, like, to, like, the stairs to get to your seat, they were still checking your tickets and kicking out people. Dude, that's crazy. Like, before the game would start. But, yeah, it's uh, slightly, um, for a lot of soccer people, I mean, I didn't really see it like this, but. A lot of other people were saying, like, if this is how it's going to be for Copa America, like, what is going to happen when we have the World Cup or the Olympics? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Well, luckily, I guess, well, I mean, it's just the one game. I was going to say they're all the games are kind of spread out. But then when it comes to the final game, it's all in one stadium. You can't do anything. No. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's all one stadium. Everything. I mean, this time it's going to be spread out more. Um. And we have, I wouldn't say Hard Rock was small, but we have way bigger stadiums to host finals and whatnot. So I'm pretty sure yeah. whoever is going to be in charge of that, I don't know who off the top of my head, has to look at that and be like, that is that is what could happen, and we want to avoid that, you know? Yeah, we're going to do everything in our power to make that not happen. Yeah, so. But yeah, um, yeah I'm a... Oh, real quick. Um, you probably haven't no haven't noticed, but uh, it was in the U.S. and uh, mm-hmm. yeah, the USA sucked ass, bro. Like, I mean, <laughs> they were in a decent group, but they 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 uh, how would you say? Um, they laid an egg. Eat shit. Um, 
Yeah, I mean, they had a good game in the first one. I think it was against Bolivia. I believe they won 2-1. to one. And in the second one, they went up against Panama, and they gave up a late goal, which kind of screwed up for them. And then, oh, and they went down a man. Um, And then they had, op- they had to go up against Uruguay, who's a really good opponent. And, yeah, they lost that one. Um, yeah, they got grouped. It was not the best. Uh, I mean, that Panama game really screwed them up because you would have thought, hey, we'd be in Panama. They're from our, our soccer region. We could defeat them, and they laid an egg. Couldn't get the job done. And, of course, it was gonna be, it was always going to be an uphill battle against Uruguay. So, But uh, the results of that was that uh, head coach Greg Berhalter was, was let go. Indeed. Um, the U.S. is currently in search of a new coach. There have been names uh, thrown out there. I'm not going to see them here uh, because I don't believe I won't believe it until I see it. Um, but yeah, that's what happened to the U.S. Uh, they're the first team, I believe, in Copa America history uh, to be the host and also eliminated in the group stage. Really. Yes. Which is embarrassing considering the last time it's crazy. The last time we had Copa America, which was a like a, a special edition of the tournament. Cause it's technically a South mm-hmm. America South American tournament. Um yeah. which was in twenty sixteen, we technically finished fourth. And we had Ooh. lesser players, Danny. Not not then quantity, quality wise. Yeah. We had Lesser players of quality on that team, and we finished fourth. Damn. On this team, we have the best. Not I'm not gonna. It's not a golden generation, but the best quality I've ever seen from this team, and they couldn't get it done. Damn. But it is what it is. Um. But yeah, Danny, I, that's all I have for summer soccer. Do you have anything else to add? Um. I'm be real. Did not watch any of these. Summer soccer games. Oh, okay, cool. Um, as you might have been able to tell from Robert telling me all about it, but um, I know I always um, say I'm gonna take you or uh, show you we, soccer, but we never have time to do it. <laughs> yeah, I know. there's never enough time in the world. Find something. Um, I will drag you out to a watch party okay. if, if you tell me no. Okay. What you gonna do, bro? I'll, what you gonna do? You know what I will do. Test me. Yeah, I will test you. Test I me. Will. Bet. Test me. This is saying about the soccer. Yeah. You test me. You test me. Okay. I would be like, you will look okay, Rob, at this game. Remember these words. Yeah, yeah. They're forever immortalized, bro. Oh, that's fine. You better be ready for remember a scrap words. or a squabble. Oh my gosh. Only one of us ended up in the hospital. Nah. Ain't gonna be me, gonna be me either, cuz. Yeah. <laughs> Watch your words, bud. Watch your words. All right. <laughs> all right. Anyways, that's all we have for summer of soccer. Um, moving on to our warm-up topic. Go warm-up topic. Mm-hmm. Can you name me just very quickly? Because I know we, we weren't going to go too long. Um, what are your favorite summer activities? Since we're in the summer, it's pretty hot right now. Ooh, so, yeah. what, what, what swimming? Swimming. I know you have a pool. In the beach. Yeah, the beach. Yeah. Um, playing basketball. Basketball. When it's not as hot. Yeah. Probably like an afternoon, oh, yep. sundown. Fishing. I like a little bit of fishing oh, yeah, out there. Fishing's fun. Golf. I mean, this summer has been a summer of golf for me, for sure. Um, and one of the favorites, I mean, just hanging out, having a beer, cracking a beer. <laughs> no, chilling. Fucking Danny. Unsports related. But, um, yeah, swimming definitely, you know, helps to cool off. Everybody loves a little bit of time at the pool. Um, but, yeah, Rob, what about you? Um, I mean, like, Historically, I've always liked throwing around the frisbee, a little bit of ultimate, some oh, catch. Oh, little frisbee toss? Yeah. Oh, a little ultimate, yeah. okay. Well, I mean, not ultimate, ultimate, but, you know, I like throwing the frisbee around. I love playing volleyball. Yeah. I will kill anybody at volleyball. Test me, motherfuckers. Oh, test I swear. me. Okay. Okay, Rob, I'll test you. I'm not the tallest, but I'm, I don't know, just being in the in the square, I'm pretty agile. I don't know why. It just, it just starts coming to me. I don't know why. Um, yeah, but I say I got a... Almost a foot on you, right? All right, relax. I know, but you're not as agile as me. <laughs> I would, hey, I would crash into the floor, bro. Okay. 
Yeah, you, you, you will. You seen me? You will fight for bro. You seen morning. me play basketball? Sure. No, I seen you. I know. I know you got Long that dog. Long story short, you. when we were kids at our elementary school, we had blacktop, and I was always the one diving on the floor for the basketball. Ripping his pants. Yeah. <laughs> scraping up his knees when he had shorts. Wait, <laughs> Crazy. He ain't that serious, bro. We would tell hey, him. Yo, bro, but that's where uh, that's, that's why I ain't scared, bro. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I'd, I'd be playing. You do have the I'd heart. Do volleyball. Um. Some basketball in the afternoon and sundown. Um, what else was there? Some some footy, some soccer. Um, what else would I do? Oh, spike ball. I don't know if you remember, but like a couple years ago, we oh, played spike yeah. ball. You were really into spike yeah. ball. Yeah. I still have my set. It's just, it's hard to, I'm not going to take it anywhere if there's no one playing, you know? Yeah, it's hard to break it out. Yeah, there's no point in bringing it if no one's going to want to play or can play, you know? But I still got it. Yeah. I'm still down to play. It's bit it it's very similar to similar athleticism as volleyball. That's why I like it. Um yeah, yeah swimming. Uh which TFTI bro. Um Okay. Let me see. That's crazy. Cause I've never gotten an invite from you. Well, because I don't have a pool. What the fuck? <laughs> hey, 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 it's a two way street, baby. What am I supposed to do? Bring out my two little inflatable pool and be like, hey bro, come and sit in my little kitty pool. No, nah, man, I mean Drink some, drink some say, cellar uh, or say, Hey, let's meet up. <laughs> <laughs> While we dip our feet. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm sitting in that bitch. The foot. Oh, I'm sitting so in there. I'm in my shorts, sitting in there, drinking the cold one, bro. Um, okay, okay. But, uh, okay. Yeah, going swimming. Um, and I think that's. Well, I mean, I used to like riding my bike. I mean, I used to like doing everything, anything I could, really, as a kid. Um, I mean, now as an adult, I mean, obviously it's a little bit different. Um. The bones and the the body don't move the same. I mean, obviously, we're adults now. We have different responsibilities. Um, but, I mean, I still like having fun. You can never... Mm-hmm. I mean, I, I'm never... I'm not scared of a, of, a bat, of a good time. I like having a good time. I'm not shy to have a good time. I mean, if everything's lined up, I got gas in the car, I ain't broke. Like, sure, I'll go out. But, yeah, I mean, I, I think yeah, that's yeah. it for me. I'm trying to think, like, what else what I used to do? I, don't know, I think that's it mostly, um, but I, yeah, when I was like little, a lot of swimming, a lot of pools. So yeah, yeah, a lot of swimming. I mean, yeah, even even in a hot day, I still like tossing the ball around. It, if we're able to um, cool down after, like we know we're gonna go to a spot with AC, or you know, going out do something and then getting some tea or something after. Oh, that's the shit. That hits the spot. Tea. Uh, I'm hoping you're talking about like yeah, boba tan tea. The fuck. Tea, some but yeah, boba tea. tea. Hey, wait, you hitting on boba tea? Some hey, some ding tea, some boba time, Ew. some seven leaves. Hey, okay, boba, hey, oh, boba time. Oh, excuse me, you said boba time. And then some, and then all the, yeah, I like that. I all like the that. random basic places around uh, Irvine. That's yeah, right, I yeah, said, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, I like seaside. Yeah, I mean, there are a lot of random places around Irvine. You said donuts? Wait, what? Sorry, it's a joke going around. Never mind. <laughs> oh, my bad. Hey, look, Rob. I'm a normal person, not. Uh, You're not basic. Chronically online, like you. <laughs> All right, relax. Oh. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm relaxing. I'll send you. I'll relax. send you the meme. I'll send you the meme when I find it. You'll see what, what I'm talking about. Okay, 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 look. Yeah, okay, TikTok boy. I'm not on TikTok. I don't know what you're I'm talking about. Fucking TikTok. Well, except for Rambling Runoff. Follow yeah. us on TikTok, Rambling Runoff. Yeah, yeah, follow us on TikTok. You, you are on TikTok. I'm, I'm, not on that, I'm not on TikTok like that. Relax. Dude, you are I'm not TikTok. on TikTok like that. Fuck that. What the hell? Um. Oh, so anyways, funny. yeah, back to summer activities. Oh, yeah, getting ice cream? Nah, just kidding. Um, yeah, yeah, I mean, that's it, mostly. I don't know. What else do you have? Uh-huh. That's it? You're good? Yeah, no, that's it. I, mean, I, mean, that's I, I think I, I listed all my shit. I, know, I know. I just I just trying to start winding it down. That's why. I know I said we wouldn't be on yeah, too yeah, long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, uh, yeah. I, yeah turn it down, baby. Yeah, turn and it I think down. Uh, we'll start going to the rundown, which got a little bit here. Um, I'll start off. Uh, the NFL season is about to begin. Um, it should be a good one considering that that uh, the Chiefs just won not too long ago. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I'm not going to go into too much detail. But the season, uh, I believe, when does the season start? Preseason, I don't know. I don't give a fuck about preseason, low key. Uh, Thursday, September fifth, <laughs> Ravens at Chiefs, and then we go from there, baby. Well, there's a Friday game, 
It's yeah. Sunday. My Saints go up against the Panthers. Let's go, baby. And yeah, we're going to see where the season goes from there. And also, in the sports news, Danny, I think you could probably take it from here. Uh, the NBA season, I mean, the NBA season was just announced for next year. Um, yep. With a good schedule of games. And yeah, I mean, were there any games that you happen to see that uh, catch your attention? I mean, nothing really caught my eye. I mean, the I think the Christmas games are kind of lackluster. Um, you want to talk about it real quick? Um, I mean, I'm look at the. I'm gonna give you guys the the opening week. Uh, Tuesday. Oh, you, yeah, you run, you yeah, run, you run. Tuesday, October twenty second, uh, opening day. Technically, uh, we got the the Knicks at Boston on in TNT, and then uh, Minnesota at mm-hmm. the Lakers on TNT as well. And then, of course, Wednesday on ESPN, we got Milwaukee at Philly. And also on ESPN, Phoenix at the Clippers, which they would be, they should be playing at Into a Dome, right? Yeah? Yes, yeah. All of this season should be at their new Into a Dome. And then, yeah, and then from there, I mean, we're going to have games, uh, Spurs at Dallas, uh, OKC at the, at the Nuggets. Uh, I mean, there's just a few games. I'm just surprised looking at Clippers at the Nuggets as well. Then we got Orlando at Memphis and the Kings at the Lakers. And uh, let me see where are the Christmas ones. At? I'm looking at it right here, right now. Here, I got, oh, got it. The Christmas games oh, right, here. Go for it. What you got? Yeah. Yep. We've got the Spurs and Knicks. Uh, we've got 76ers and Celtics. We've got the Timberwolves and the Mavericks. And then we've got the Lakers and Warriors. And finally, the Nuggets and Suns. I wish that these teams were a little bit more exciting. Like, I would love, love to see another Sacramento Warriors matchup. You know, lights out shooting. Um, I think they kind of just like mish, mismatch, mishmashed. Excuse me. Um, a bunch of the, you know, not the, not the top performing teams, but the teams with the biggest names on there right now, like the Spurs, Victor Wembanyama. You know, big name. He's gonna be huge for the NBA. Mm-hmm. It's basically the reason the Spurs are on here. Yeah. Um, Chris Paul is also on there, you know, which is interesting. But is it interesting enough for me to want to see them and the Knicks on Christmas Day? I don't. Yeah, think so. no, I get you. I mean, I would have preferred uh, what, a Knicks Heat or like a Knicks Orlando. Yeah. You know, two two teams that can kind of go at it. And the fact that Oklahoma is not on this list and they were number one in the league, you know what I mean? Yeah. Or, or sorry, number one in the in the West. This is crazy. I mean. To be fair, it's only just the schedule. We won't know until we get there. Like, who knows? Maybe these might all be hot matchups. Yeah. Like, these could be... Who knows? All these teams could be in the top 10 by the time we get to Christmas. Okay. You're saying the Spurs are going to be in top 10? I said we we don't know that yet. In the NBA or in the West? Oh, in the West. Okay. Top 10 in the East or West is crazy. There's only, like, four teams that fall out of that. All right. Let's say top eight. I right, look top top of their respective conferences. Okay. How about that? Can I say that at least? Okay, yeah, yeah. You, you have to be top seven to be at the top. You know what I mean? Okay, that's what I'm trying to say. That's <laughs> what I'm trying to say, basically. You know what I mean, well, I mean, like nine teams go to the playoffs, so or whatever it is now. Uh, you're right. You're right. Well, I I guess it's ten if you include the play-in. But yeah, it's still only eight teams. No, but you get what I'm saying. Like these might. Who knows? We won't know until we. Yeah, get I see. What you're I do know last year. Yeah, 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 yeah. The the playoffs. I mean, the Christmas games did kind of suck, low key, in my opinion. Yeah, they did. That they did. But uh, yeah. Um, I mean, that's all I got. Um, do you have anything else to add, sports related or life related, or what do you want to tell the people out there before we sign off right now? I mean, it's just good to be back. Um, we hope to be a little more regular with these podcasts. If y'all enjoy them, we enjoy them. Uh, let's get this thing growing. 2024 into 2025. Keep it rolling. Oh, yeah. Um, I don't know if we'll record next week, probably the week after, if that's okay, Danny. Um, no, that's fine. Yeah. Should, you, right now, should we turn, should we announce that the, the podcast is going to be every other week? Now? <laughs> well, that be it. Maybe, at, maybe, or are we going to test this we're out? We're going to test it out. I mean, considering there's not a lot of sports on, too, nothing too crazy. I mean, like, there's MLB, yeah. WNBA. Um, but let's maybe work our way back into it and not just jump into it. Maybe that will work okay. for us down the line. Is there? Uh, yeah. I mean, it might also work in, in your behalf as well. I know you're a busy guy as well. So. Yeah. yeah. But uh, yeah, maybe give us, a, give us a little bit of time. I'll let you know when we go back to uh, weekly again. Bear with us, please. This yeah, yeah, yeah. But 
uh, yeah, I think that's all I got. Um, I'm going to do the outro now. Is that cool? Go ahead. Thank you for listening to Rambling Runoff. If you're listening on YouTube, please hit that like and subscribe button. If you're on Spotify, Spotify for podcasters, Amazon Music, or Apple Music, please give us a follow. And if you want to hear more from us on social media, hit us up on Twitter, aka X, at Rambling Runoff, and on Instagram. And sometimes I also post on TikTok, so yeah, check us out on there as well. I've been your host, Robert Rios, and for my co-host, Danny Tan, see you guys next time. Peace out. Peace.